Apprentices have been around for over 500 years, but it's actually still the right way of training people for the 21st century. They're popular with young people, they work for businesses, they work for parents too because people are proud that their child or young person is going to become an apprentice. There are certain things that you need in business. Dedication, motivation, persistence and hard work. They learn on the job, they gain skills, but they learn how to use those skills at work. Last year was the best year we've ever had. We had more people start apprenticeships and more of them complete them successfully. The 11 year olds starting school this year are going to be the first generation of young people who are going to stay in education after the age of 16. We think the biggest growth area is going to be work-based learning. That's why we must expand the number of apprenticeships in our country. Success is down to finding people that will help make businesses grow, even in times like this. We have to help businesses get through the current economic downturn, but we've also got to make sure that they're recruiting and training the kind of young people who will be the great employees of the future. Things have moved on in apprenticeships from my days. It's not all about a fellow in a bib and brace standing by a lathe anymore. If apprentice makes you think engineer, brick hair, hairdresser, well, there are plenty of them. But you should also think retail, call centre staff, business administration, healthcare, every part of the modern economy is now covered by apprenticeships. There's over 180 different apprenticeships available across 80 different industry sectors. What always strikes me is that the qualities I see in apprentices are the same things that you as employers tell me you want to have in your business. The great thing about apprentices is that they give job specific training which works for the individual company and also for the young person. But don't take it from me, take it from the employers who've done it and continue to do it because it makes great business sense for them. They're ambitious, they're doers, they make things happen. They're learning skills. These are the qualities that I really look for in people. Over the past decade, there's been a huge expansion in the number of apprenticeships in our country. There are over 200,000 apprentices in this country, all learning and earning. But we need to go even further than that. We want to get, by the end of the decade, to a position where one in five of young people are doing an apprenticeship before the age of 18. Now if in the past you thought that apprenticeships were a good idea but they were too bureaucratic, too difficult, we're making it easier than ever to take on an apprentice. It's easier to get an apprentice on board than you may think. That's why I've taken on apprentices in my business. There are so many employers doing a brilliant job offering apprenticeships because it works for them. We're clear, every young person until the age of 18 will either be in full-time school, full-time college, in work with training or an apprenticeship by 2013. It's now your commitment as employers that's going to make the real difference. I know that apprenticeships are going to be as important in the 21st century as they've ever been in the past. Our young people are the future of our country and are the future of our businesses too. But government can't do this on our own. We can only do this with you. If we work together, we can make sure that it's good for your business and it's also good for the young people of this country too. I want young people, I want teachers, I want parents too to say, I've got an apprenticeship and I'm really proud of it.